tussle over taxes. It's a $252 million question that many of you will see on your ballot Tuesday. Milwaukee voters will decide whether to raise their taxes to boost Milwaukee public schools. Jason Calvi is here as you decide. Hey, Bria, days before the election, an influential group is now opposing the referendum. But supporters say the money is needed to avoid devastating cuts to schools. If the referendum passes, a $200,000 home would see higher taxes of $432 a year. The increase would be phased in over four years and then stay on the books for future years. Milwaukee voters will decide whether to give Milwaukee Public Schools an extra $252 million a year. I don't think that many of us know a real plan of how these resources, a quarter of a billion dollars, are going to be employed and deployed at MPS. The Greater Milwaukee Committee says it cannot support the referendum, saying there was a lack of transparency. The group's made of 200 leaders from corporations, nonprofits, and education. It was announced just a few days before Christmas. It was approved by the board. Um, a few days into the new year and kind of hastily put on the ballot in April. The teachers union, the Milwaukee Teachers Education Association says kids cannot wait. There actually is no time for students. What will happen is this fall, if the referendum does not pass, children will lose access to teachers, to value paraprofessionals and other support staff. Milwaukee Public Schools says they're expecting a $200 million budget deficit. If it doesn't pass, we are facing are significant cuts to schools, uh, about a 13 percent uh, cut to all of our school budgets. Democratic lawmakers backing this referendum blame state lawmakers for not sending enough money to schools. If state funding for Milwaukee Public Schools had kept pace with inflation over the last 15 years, the district would be receiving an additional $210 million. But the GMC says this referendum doesn't lay out how it's going to boost learning outcomes. We all can agree that the outcomes today are unacceptable. Now, the National Report Card finds 7% of Milwaukee 8th graders are proficient in math and 14% were proficient in reading. On April 2nd, voters statewide will decide 91 school referendums.